In this video I will take this scrap pile of steel tubing and turn it into a premium sim racing cockpit. A custom work of art with AI generated 3D printed steel components, a premium bucket seat and integrated electronics, with zero visible cables and an extremely clean design. The build starts by cutting the necessary length of steel tube and welding them together to form the base frame. Fortunately I had two sections of tube already bent to 90 degrees, which made it super easy to create this smooth shape without much effort. I'm not showing much of the fabrication since it was just a matter of cutting, welding and grinding to form the main frame, which consists of a single tube that goes besides the seat, bends around the pedals and goes up to hold the wheel, producing a very original and premium looking shape that I have never seen before in a sim racing cockpit. With the base frame complete, we can move on stripping all the old paint off, to provide for a clean surface ready for painting. I choose to go with this textured bronze colored paint that will hopefully look amazing in conjunction with the black and wooden components that will be mounted to this cockpit. With the frame painted and looking shiny, we can move on mounting the seat. The seat I choose is a Drift Shop fiberglass bucket seat, and is perfect for this build with its quality construction, comfortable shape and sporty look. You can find a link to it below and thanks to Drift Shop for providing me with a small discount. Next up is finishing the pedal tray, which consists of a steel base onto which a 10mm plywood sheet can be screwed, to provide for an extremely strong base to mount the pedals to. Moving on to the shifter and handbrake mount, I've CNC machined this wooden plate that will perfectly slot on this tube that I added before, bolting it through the side to secure it in place. This will provide a super rigid and good looking mounting solution, but will temporarily remain empty since I haven't built the shifter and handbrake yet. Before mounting the wheel there is a slight issue we need to solve, in fact the frame rings like a bell when hit. To mitigate this I made a few 3D printed parts which gets connected with flexible tubes to allow the wires to be internally routed. This middle section will be slotted besides the pedal tray and will house a USB hub, to which the pedals and wheel will be connected. The power supply will also be mounted internally with a cap at the end of the tube that will hold the power socket and a USB-C port to connect the simulator to the PC. The whole point of these cable routing channels is so that after installing everything inside the cockpit, the internal volume can be filled with polyurethane foam to dampen all the unwanted vibrations. This worked actually quite well, but made a huge mess, since I didn't expect the foam to expand that much. Fortunately, after a bit of cleaning and sanding, I repainted the affected areas and it was like nothing ever happened. At this point we can finally mount the steering wheel inside the upper tube, providing for a super clean look with the wheel coming straight out of the end. I designed this new base using generative design which allowed for this beautiful organic shape, ready to be 3D printed out of steel by PCBWay. PCBWay is my go-to website when it comes to on-demand manufacturing. They offer all kinds of custom services ranging from CNC machining to plastic and metal 3D printing and PCB making. You just upload your part, select the manufacturing procedure, get a quote and place the order. After a few days you will already have your parts available thanks to the fast turnaround times. Check them out at the link below. With the new metal parts we can transfer the components over from the old base, also switching the rotary encoder for this magnetic one mainly due to space constraints but also because I find it more reliable. This meant that I had to go back to the original FF Beast design which uses a bike spoke that passes through the axle and transfers the rotation to this magnet located in front of the encoder that will read its orientation. This new base is also tilt adjustable and can be slotted inside the tube securing it with 4 bolts. The controller and braking resistor can be mounted on this 3D printed component that slots directly behind the wheelbase, with a hole to allow the USB and power cables to pass through. The USB cable goes down to the USB hub and gets connected to this port. 
while the power cables go straight to the power supply which gets slotted here using some hot glue to keep it fixed. The cable coming out of the USB hub gets connected to this USB-C port which is then screwed to the end cap, together with the power socket to allow for easy access to the needed ports and connectors. And with that, the cockpit is completed and looking truly amazing. The design is extremely clean, with zero visible cables and very smooth curves. The wheel coming straight out of the tube is a huge factor in the clean aesthetic, since it eliminates bulk wheel bases and integrates truly seamlessly with the design of the cockpit. The metal 3D printed components holding the wheel make for a totally rigid mounting solution, enhancing the look even more with the organic design. The seat is truly perfect and goes along well with the clean looks, but most importantly it is super comfortable even in long driving sessions. The USB hub allows to keep the cables well organized and makes it possible to have just one connection between the simulator and the PC since uh, every accessory will be connected to this hub. The pedals can in fact be connected here, although I will make new ones in my next video, in the same style of my steering wheel, which means a revolutionary design and a fully 3D printed inexpensive construction. To step the experience up a notch, I've also got a VR headset, which in conjunction with the cockpit truly brings you in the race. It is a whole other experience compared to driving with the wheel mounted on a desk and looking at a monitor, and I really suggest you also go this route. This simulator project is truly becoming my best and most refined project to date. The attention to details is really top notch and I really can't wait to continue this journey with other builds. As for now there is not much more to say, if you want to build my 3D printed direct drive wheel you can find the links in the description below. Thanks again to PCBWay, Rift Shop and to everyone who purchased the files for my steering wheel. I will catch you in the next one with some spicy new pedals!